vami je gostitel Bojan Požar. Drage gledalke, gledalci, dobrodošli v Daji Požare pod. Danes so z nami dva gosta, pa so pa prihajata, oba prihajata iz druže države Amerike. To je gospod Erik Blekni, režiser, scenarist, producent in pisatelj. In gospod Ruben Papjan, parapsiholog, ki ga v Sloveniji že dobro priznamo. Gospod Papjan, bili ste, da je pred dobrim letom, ste bili tukaj v studiju, ne? Zdaj bom reči, da ste vi edini gost, edini pač, edini moj gost, ki je zdaj drugič zapored že pri meni, ne? A je kakšna spremenba zdaj v mes? Prišla za vas. Za poslednji godin, da? Za poslednji godin, da. Ja, respektiraš. Gospoda bo zdrugovarja v angliščini, tako da še povem, ja. Da, da. Shall I answer? Ok, please. Ok. It's within the last one year, you mean? Yes. I mean, everything is changing. As far as you see, within the last one year, a lot of changes have happened, especially the last, let's say, one month. So, I'm as, as I understood, I'm the only person that's been twice in your studio. You see huge changes around the world. No, but as you said, you know, when you first came, you had a lot of great work. The economic recession went ahead, the financial crisis is still here, it's all for us. Do you have a lot of work for us or less than you had that? Actually, let me answer this way. This last year was quite a dynamic for me as well, but not in Slovenia or in the Balkan region, more worldwide, especially in the United States. That's why today we meet Mr. Blakeney, a guest in your studio, so, uh, and so I started to write a book, finally, with help of Mr. Blakeney, who's of course the big known specialist in it, so we almost finished the book, so that book took six months, so that's why I was not concentrated so much on working in Slovenia as well. Aha, ok. Gospod Blakeney, vi ste režiser, producent, uh, uh, scenarist, zdaj me zanima, zakaj ste se odločili, da bo se napisal knjigo o gospodu Papijanu? He made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Yeah, but Zakai, Zakai needs to move your clone. Mm hmm. Well, I was. Well, it's not very often you get a chance to explore a new metaphysical system. A lot of times you're you're exploring new scenarios for guys to commit robberies and to cheat on their wives and you know, that sort of thing. And this was an opportunity to expand my worldview and see. See a bigger picture. So no, I had to do it. Zdaj ste malo povedali približno, s kakšnimi, s kakšnimi filmi ste imeli zdaj upravka. Ne? Ko sem gledal vašo filmoteko, uh, se mi je zdel, da, pač, da niste doslej nič takega počeli, kaj bi recimo bilo podobno njegovemu dosedanjemu delu. Mogoče se motim, ne vem. It's something I always wanted to do. It's something I've been saying uh, for years. Oh, I'd like to get involved in some political writing, which I got to do some of, and, uh, but I'd really like to work on a metaphysical book. So I guess Ruben must have heard it somewhere out there, and he just said, aha, you think you can do this? Come on. Dobre, zdaj, kako bo, mislim, zdaj, pač komu koli postavim vprašanje, no? Kako, kako, kako bo naslov knjige? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. It's, it's still speaking to us. Yeah, right, let's put this way. A to je odvisno, zdaj, to vam bo založnik povedal, ali kako? No, 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 let's say, this book is, first of all, it's first my book as well, so I have no experience in the book. It's, let's say, metaphysical world, first writings of Eric. The book actually is, it's kind of a life. It shapes itself. So, one thing is for sure, let's say, generally speaking, it's a book about how to wish. Everybody wishes, right? But hardly anyone knows the mathematics of, of it, how to wish. Plus, there will be a program. This is the core of the book. But before you even come to the issue how to wish, uh, to wish, you have to learn a lot about yourself. How are you constructed? So, uh, call it just a book, it would be not complete. It is not a book. It's just it's just breathing to us. So every day we work with Eric, we figure out something new, something we have to go deeper, we have to go left, we have to go right. The name comes at the end. That's what we feel like. Zdaj, vi v zadnjem času ste veliko tudi v Hollywoodu, ne? Če prav vem, ne? Veliko delate v Hollywoodu. I mean, no. Let's say in Hollywood. I mean, people understand Hollywood differently than Hollywood I don't hear the questions. Like, right. Uh, hočem reči, uh, veliko ste delali v Hollywoodu, pa me zanima, koliko ima Hollywood, recimo, um, koliko ima Hollywood skupnega za metafiziko, o kateri oh, je govoril gospod, better... govor, gospod uh, Blakeney? Uh, actually, Eric would uh, answer that question with more details, because he knows the Hollywood from inside. 
Could, could you ask him? What is that I couldn't question? hear any questions. So I, how you heard, I, I ask um, how, how much have um, Hollywood uh, together with metaphysics? Well, uh, yeah. Hollywood has its own metaphysic, <laughs> it's its own crazy land uh, with its own gods and spirits and protocols. Um, it doesn't, it, it looks to sell to a mass audience, so it, it can, never, can never go deeply into, it's interested in all metaphysical things, but only on a very surface level so that they can sell it to a, a broad audience. Um, Пакът сте ми поведали да делате за различними холивудски звездами, не? А е здей, по меко, а е тази дочито да пач дела некдо, ки пехаја и света филма, пише вашо книго, последица тега, да сте здей, по меко, сте мал, се се мал инволвирал в тази филмски свет в Холивуду. Не, 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 абсолютно не. Акшули, това, което се гаде, с, да се кажа, джоинт венчер, с Ерик Мек, е пюр коинциденс. Не да ай планът Господ Папиан, а ви тако в ямето на ключа, или какво? Окей, да го кажем така. Аз правил всичко, просто не знае нищо в този кейс. Трябва ме, защото всички знаят, кога съм. Сега и тогава, трябва да закрива очите, за да се случи да се случи. А това, което ви е вързвам. Когато имаме сила, ви разбирате тези сили, you respect those coincidences, coincidences more. Let's say, miracle of lives. You're pulling yourself back in order to see how it grows. So, me and Eric, we, we met uh, based on some movie stories, actually. Got nothing to do with the metaphysics. But word after word, uh, Eric became quite interested in my knowledge. And then we met once, twice, third time. And then Eric asked, Ruben, where can I, f let's say, read your book? I said, Eric, Probably when you write it. So that was the beginning. And right now we're almost, almost, almost finishing the book. To be mentioned book, Niga, but obviously a scenario. No, no, it's not a scenario. It's not a scenario. How can I say? No, it's near scenario. It's a self-teaching kind of book. It's a as a philosophy book. It's a way to talk to people, to someone who reads the book and recognizes himself. Whether it's going to be at the end kind of documentary as a. На филми не знаем още. Сега е изпочнен да бъде книга. Първата книга в моята. Стоколна книга? Да. Ви да съм опитен? Не съм слушал вашата въпроса. 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 Окей, аз казвам, мистер Папиан, ако книга ще бъде като филми сценарио. О, да. Това не е изпочнен да бъде филми сценарио. Мисля, че това е фасцинирано за Рубен's approach е, It was very different than the way uh, the American salesmen sell metaphysics. They always say, oh, the universe loves you and it wants you to do this and it wants you to do that and wants you to have a new Mercedes. And, and, and Ruben said, oh, you know, let's, let's, let's clear some of this stuff up. So I said, really, really, tell me more. And one thing led to another and we kept having coffee and we stopped talking about making a movie and we talked about Ruben's system. Ok, še eno vprašanje v zvezi z gospodom Bleknjem. Mislim, zakaj odločitev ZAN? Zato, ker je američan in je to pač, in je to pač stvar, a me, mislim, stvar velikosti američke težišča, je to nek pogoj, zato, da bo knjiga komercijalno uspešna? Right question, right question, right question. You know, no. Actually, when I came back, returned from, at that time, when I returned back from Los Angeles, I called a couple of friends in different countries, so international, it's all related, to figure out the person who can write that kind of book. My knowledge to put on a paper. It's really not easy, even difficult to explain by words. So I spoke to different, let's say, countries, really good writers, known writers. What did I what did I found that mentality of that person who's gonna write a book will definitely will be in the book. Then you understand if it's a Russian mentality, that will be closed in Russia or Russian speaking region. The mentality is so different that if you translate it, it loses something. So, uh, including, for example, the Holland as well, too close. Then after, let's say, just analyzing, say, listen, concerning the publishing industry, America is huge, let's say market, not the market only, they actually publishes England. Uh, and then at the end, actually, I spoke 
with Eric about possible cooperation. Now, right now, it looks like we took the right role. English language, let's put it this way, English language is not so mentality colored, especially American. Probably because it's international market. Uh, it will not be difficult to translate even in Slovenian. It will not lose anything. That's the reason, and Eric is, is a great so, writer, of course, as well. Uh, we will see, it's not up to right now to me to decide. When publisher will come, they will talk to the publisher, and the publisher will see. They are professionals. So you are a ghostwriter in this book? Part-time ghost. Is, is that, that, <laughs> Ruben puts me into a trance. I start typing, and so, then I come out of it, and I say, Ruben, what did I write? Yes, read. Whoa. Uh, I mean, this um, is the ghost writer. Is it a rewriter or not? Is it a rewriter? Yes. Um, we talk. I try something. What do you think? Mm, let's try it like this. We go back and forth. We're just collaborating. We, we just throw the, uh, we have a dialogue. I write something. No, no, I don't like that. Say this. No, no, you were wrong there. Say, you know. And we find it. We, you know, it's an exploration. Okay, but what's about your ideas? I mean, like a writer hmm? in the book. What, what, what's happening with your ideas? If you have some idea to put in the book. I have an idea. I put it in the book and Ruben goes, ah, that's completely ridiculous. Well, let's put it this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get a point is. Even to write, to put on a paper something that I say is not so easy. So first of all, the person, and as a writer, has to completely understand the logic, which is so now and then 80%, totally irrational, that at the end comes rational. So it takes really an effort and a time from Eric to dive into it, to understand where it goes, where it comes, in order after that, well, let's say the master of words to to show his word capabilities, words capability, writing capabilities. Right now, I shall then transfer it to regular customer, the regular reader who's going to read the book. Oh, it's it is a work of headache. No, it was an interesting process because at the beginning, when we're getting to know each other, I'm doing more showing my, uh, great literary concepts. As we as we connected more and got into a flow. There was less my style and more something, something deep that was just happening, and it started speaking. When you're doing, when you're really connected with your art, uh, it starts speaking itself. You really, it's even true for screenwriting. When you know your characters, you're, you're not giving them dialogue; they start speaking to you, and that's that's the metaphysic of all creativity. Okay, živi bez upozaja da mogu iti na reklame. Sam tenutek za reklame, potem se vedemo. Oglasi. Za ljubezen sta potrebna dva. Dva čudovita mobitela z eno naročnino in ceno v novi mobitelovi akciji. Mobitel. Vrhunska ponudba, razvada iz Mercatorja. Ob nakupu in kratnemu naučenju 250 pik, sedem del na inox posoda za indukcijo samo 9,90 evra. Ali se salnik Hoover 2000 W pa samo 49,90 evra. Ob nakupu in kratnemu naučenju 600 pik boste za nakup LCD televizorja Philips odšteli samo 429 evrov. Mercator, najboljši sosed. Sedaj tudi Sijol Box S, majhen, a poln zabave. Naročite in doživite več kot le televizijo. Sijol. Jujo, tukaj Miče Valenčič. Pozdravljam vas iz Belega Garmi Špartem, kjer smo kjer tekmujemo na svetovnem prvenstvu. Vsi, ki boste prišli na vijaz za nas, se pripelite tako kot mi s petrolovim dizlom, vodilnim gorivom za zimske dni. Zlati sponsor alpskih reprezentanc. Petrol. Energija za življenje. V desetih letih smo hitro in uspešno posredovali v več kot 100 tisoč asistenčnih primerih. Torej imate 100 tisoč razlogov, da nam zaupate tudi v prihodnosti. Avtomobilska asistenca za varovalnice Triglav. Instant internet je polen presežkov. Najhitrejši mobilni internet Toslej. Najboljša pokritost. 
Preizkusite ga brezplačno. Z modemom HZB Plus. Mobitel. Tega si pa nikoli ne bi mislila, da gosta ta dva kdaj skup pršla. Jaz tudi ne. Ona se mi zmeri zdela tako po cen. In tako bo tudi ostalo. Zaklenili smo cene svežega pakiranega mesa Linije Mercator. Mercator. Najboljši sosed. Drage gledalke in gledalci, dobrodošli nazaj v vodaji požaje pot. Z nami sta gospod Erik Blekni in pa gospod Ruben Papjan. Gospod Blekni, če boste snemali kdaj film o tej knjigi, kdo bo igral glavno vlogo, oziroma gospod igral gospoda Papjana? Johnny Depp. Zakaj je Johnny Depp? Kaj je Johnny Depp. To je zdaj nekaj trik, nekaj predjevnik, ali to jaz? Jaz sem pravil s njim. 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 Aha. Poglejte, gospod Erik, zakaj zadnji čas se prihaja iz Hollywooda toliko slabih teh akcijskih filmov, v katerih pa nastopajo sicer odlično plačani igravci, recimo Tom Cruise, Cameron Diaz in tako? Corporations took over the film industry. Corporations looked to reach the wider, most easily marketable market. Action movies with a lot of special effects, they feel, bring in the widest audience. It's like McDonald's. Why are McDonald's hamburgers so mass-produced tasting? Because they're reaching the widest market. They don't go for, for the unique special flavors that a great chef might, might put in it. A je to zdaj trend, ki bo trajal še nekaj časa? Je to povezan z, z gospodarsko recesijo ali je to v meko pač neko obdobje zdaj v Hollywoodu? Um, it's been steadily happening for uh, quite some time since corporations started taking the uh, taking over the studios. Uh, they're part, uh, you know, of, of an a gigantic conglomerate. Um, that's not going back until I mean, unless capitalism fell apart. So as long as corporations own movie studios and distribution, uh, they will make mass market movies. Hollywood. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear the beginning of the question. Me zanima, če vam je všeč takšno stanje v Hollywoodu, kot je zdaj? No, no artist likes it. It's... No, no, do you like this, what's happening right now? No, I, no. I just said, no, no artist likes it. In pa kaj, recimo, lahko naredijo filmski uskvajalci v takšni situaciji? Ali se sprejaznijo s tem, da bodo enostavno veliko zaslužili in to je to? They can write metaphysical books. Aha, ok. Ali se pa zatekajo gospodu Papijanu ali kako? That's all they need. Ok. Exactly. Shall I answer? Ok, please, please. And that was happening over there in Hollywood. Actually, everybody is looking into metaphysics. It's a theory, yeah. I mean, I'm sure Eric knows that Hollywood's day starts with stress, ends with huge stress. And actually only time to relax, if that's a relax, it's night. But you know, when you spend day and night, day and night, day and night, in that, in that rhythm, in that, let's say, similarity, in that great, doesn't matter that you watch Oscar, it's a great dynamic, the, but still boring atmosphere, all you are is looking for a different side, different colors in your life. That's the way you access metaphysics. But let not, let's not forget Hollywood is a Hollywood. Even metaphysics are Hollywoodish in there. So you cannot find a specialist in there. So that's why Hollywood has its own esoterical Hollywood colored specialist running around. I mean, I don't know whether everybody has those, those that type of people, but number of known actors or having around you, around themselves, like a little dogs. Some guys with some capabilities. Mm -hmm. It brings some colors in their life, definitely doesn't solve any problem. Uh, Spod Erik, pri vašem 
poste shli u London, ne? in iz Londona u Los Angeles, Hollywood. With stops in between, yes. With stops in between, but there are no... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't read where have so many stops. Um, I used to be a musician, which is why I went to London. Mm -hmm. So I, um, I've just got that traveling minstrel in me. So I, I, even, even in Hollywood, um, if there was an interesting project that required some traveling, some new way of doing it. Um, I went to Australia to work for six months on uh, the Mad Max movie that they're shooting now. It was, everybody said, why did you leave? Hmm? Yes, number four, Fury Road. Um, it was, it was just compelling to work with somebody outside of the studio system. I'm always trying to work outside of the system. Uh, I went to a baseball game about five, six years ago. In kako se vam zdi Bronx zdaj? Recimo, pa imajavi s tem, takrat, ko ste ga zapuslili? Uh, when I left the Bronx, it was a very deadly place to live. Uh, it was very dangerous. All of New York City is a lot cleaner than it used to be, uh, a lot safer. The Bronx is still a little tricky. I didn't, I didn't go into all the old neighborhoods. I just went to Yankee Stadium, which is patrolled by thousands of police. It was, it was pretty safe. I'm glad that you had a chance to write because you were loved in a game and you wanted to get a lot of pressure on it. This is true. This is true. I was a musician and um, I went to uh, an actor friend. He, he was in a workshop and they were all doing scenes and there was a, a, a young actress that I was really caught with and I thought, how can I be around her? And so I started writing funny little scenes and bringing them to the theater group and everybody started getting very into them and they started performing them. And I thought, hmm, maybe I'm in the wrong racket. Uh, kaj pa je, mislim, kaj pa dela zdaj ta igravka? <laughs> uh, I think she married a Dutchman. Dutchman, so she mm. in, in, živi v na Nizozemskem, yeah, in, in, in Holland, in, ah. I, I believe, yeah. Dobre, dobre. Mm -hmm. Gospod Ruben, um, zdaj knjigo, knjigo načrtujete, da bi bila pač, če jaz pa razumem, svetovna uspešnica, ne? We think so. We hope so. Dobo Zaluzik, Mr. Povejte. We don't know yet. There are a number of candidates, but definitely it's going to be some, let's say, large, known, in a sense, worldwide uh, publisher. Aha, se pravi, Zaluzik bo prišel iz tega področja, ne Barnes and Nobles. We don't know yet. The book is specific, we have to understand. Uh, to deal with esoterical book, metaphysical book, you have to you have to get in touch with with, with a publisher who has that kind of at least uh, division or knowing knowing the market. Not every publisher actually is uh, can introduce the right book the right way. So there as well, it's not a matter of competition. It's a matter to having the right publisher who understands the philosophy of it and figures out which way even to promote the book. Okay, let's not forget, uh, just as example, let's not forget, for example, Secret as a book which appeared five years ago. Mm, well, I'm not now judging good or better, whatever, but still, it was a huge success. No, huge. so this book you yourself, right? Which one? Secret? Yeah. No, no, this is, this is just a book, five years ago. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was a huge, worldwide, mass, you know, shifting success, over how 500 million turnover for a book. So the market is there. Important thing now, the publisher who understands and knows how to present it. That what sells. Mm, well, I don't know, really. Re regarding the sales of the book, it's a first book of mine. I just don't know that industry yet. I even don't know whether we, we actually don't know whether uh, the, the publisher in America or in London gonna take over the entire world or only, for example, English-speaking regions. Let's see. 
Mm -hmm. We're not planning, most important We thing. didn't want to make a book deal before the book was finished right. because how the publisher understands and handles the book is, is the most important thing. Uh, one last question, we have a minute left, Mr. Brekny. From America, you came first to Belgrade and then to Ljubljana, is that right? Yeah, absolutely. We are working in Belgrade. Is it not directly to Ljubljana? I had to pick up my guru before I came here. <laughs> I, I just got here two nights ago. I did uh, last night. Uh, and this morning. Just started walking around and looking. Yeah. We'll see. We have some plans. Let's put okay. it that way. How do I like Belgrade? It's cold. <laughs> the people are great. The people are great. I'm waiting for summer so I can walk around and take in the city. Because no. I hear it's a completely different lifestyle in the summertime when everybody's out on the street all night. Right now, I'm from Los Angeles, I'm just freezing. Oh, I mean, uh, Eric will visit the region not once, not still many times, you know. Dobro, najlepša hvala za obizve studio. Upam, da bote dobro zaključila knjigo, ne? Pa da se mogoče še kdaj kasneje vidimo. Thank you very much. Drage gledalke in gledalci, to je bilo so danes vse. Vdajo si lahko gledate tudi na spletni strani požave pod Pikasi. In mi pa se vidimo v prihodnji tedni v bistvem času in ne pozabite, ker je bojanje tudi požave. Hvala.